welcome to the 9 at 9 morning show. I gotta go live on Instagram. Once we do that, you guys, today, it's gonna be a good day. I think that people just don't quite know what's about to hit them, and we're gonna have some good times, honestly. Welcome to the show. I'm so happy you're here. Hello, Instagram. Welcome to the 9 at 9 morning show. Okay, here's the situation, my people. Um, if you tuned in yesterday, you saw that essentially this show was created because there were too many stories to tell from Funnel Hacking Live. Like we were trying to put together all of our content and like splice together some story arcs for our vlogs and our videos. And we literally, like there were literally hundreds of stories, hundreds of stories. So we had to, we had to create a new show to tell all the stories. So, um, and also because it would literally be disrespectful. Like this is just so fun. Like everybody wants to know behind the scenes, like keep asking me questions. And so this has been the solution to figure it out. Okay. So, and you guys are here, say hi, I'm so happy you're here, good morning, how are we doing? Um, okay, so here's the situation today. What we're gonna talk about is actually gonna show you some hilarious behind the scenes footage that didn't make it into a vlog, it got cut, okay? What I'm gonna show you actually is I'm going to show you um, and tell you the story a little bit how I almost didn't turn my first draft of my slides in on time. Okay, so here's the situation. So I get asked to speak at Funnel Hacking Live. Thank you so much. That's a backstory for another day. We're starting here, okay? And um, and so they ask you, and then you kind of don't hear anything for a while. So you're like, well, I guess I just, I don't know. You're just like, okay, I guess I'll just, just keep on going on. And um, anyway, but here's the deal. I had been, because I, I'm a planner, and I also... I just, I'm just a planner, right? So I wanted to do a really good job, but I didn't know what day they were due. And so I was thinking a bunch of things and I knew that on stage, I was going to have this like really amazing opportunity to not just teach like, oh, design hacking for funnels, but to like really establish this whole new category. I wonder if I have it. This like whole new category of, um, of design hacking. So if anybody's read this book, has anybody read this book? Ah! It essentially talks about like, how do you create your whole new category? So that like, you're not competing with anybody because you made the category. And I knew that I had an opportunity to do that with design hacking. And so, um, yeah, so I really naively thought that this wouldn't take a long time. I, I love this girl talking about myself, but she's an idiot. Okay. Because here's what happened. So we eventually get an email from Melanie, Russell's Melanie, Russell's assistant Melanie. Okay. And she was like, listen, we need the first draft of your slides in by the 10th. Of January. Now the 10th of January, it was going to, I was going to be on the two comma club X cruise. So I was literally going to be in the middle of the ocean on a cruise when they were due. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try and get them done before I go. That's what I'm going to try and do is get them done before I go. Um, but again, that was just so naive. So I blocked out, listen how dumb I am. Oh gosh, God bless me. I blocked out a whole day and I was like, this whole day, I'm going to write my speech and do my slides. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One day that was literally so dumb. So I start writing my speech. I have 27, 28. Well, at that point I thought I only had 27 minutes and I, what I had to do was my whole webinar, which is 90 minutes. The, if you guys saw like a swipes method, which is a one hour training and then custom designs, which is an hour and a half training plus teach how to sell. So, and then, and then incorporate like the, hi, this is a new category. Pay attention to this. So I, I didn't, I just didn't realize the monstrosity of a task it would be to combine condense, excuse me, like four and a half hours of material down to 27 minutes. So me thinking that I was going to write my speech and have my slides done all in one day was God bless me the stupidest thing that's like, like that was like the biggest miscalculation, <laughs> the biggest miscalculation that's ever happened. Okay. It was so bad. It was so bad. Anyway. So I'm like making my slides, making my slides. And I get like at least a draft of the speech done, which literally went through about, I would say 12 different iterations before whatever you saw on the stage. Anyway, but I get enough done to start working on my slides. And I like literally ran out of hours. So we were leaving to get on the cruise. My friends were coming to come pick me up at 4 a.m. So we could go to the to the airport. And I just worked the whole night. Like, I just never went to bed. So, like, if you guys saw my Miami vlog, I don't know if you saw that. I'm like, I just pulled an all-nighter. That's what was going on. Because I was an idiot and thought it would only take me one day to do this. Full disclosure, I think I spent over 150 hours on this one specific speech. Okay? But I knew it was a huge moment. You can't skip on stuff like this. You can't skip on stuff like this. Anyway. So I'm on the cruise and my slides aren't done. And I just had this like vision of the cruise. I was just going to network and like just be totally chill and like have all my stuff done. 
That was not the case. That did not actually happen. Okay. Anyway, so I get on the cruise. I do have the time of my life. It's so fun. But basically what we do is cruise starts at like nine in the morning or like festivities start at like eight or nine. We, we do like business marketing stuff for like four hours. Um, break for lunch where you're still networking because you're at lunch. And then you either break away to do an activity, either like zip lining, which you're still networking the whole time. Um, or like more business stuff. And then you come back, dinner, network, and then afterwards, network. Like the whole time you're just bonding with people, which is like so good. Not a traditional cruise. I never laid out in my swimsuit, but uh, but it was great. But after we would do that, we'd usually come back to our room around like 11 or midnight, and then I would work on my slides for like two to four more hours. So this whole cruise, I'm like dying. I'm dying be of fatigue because I'm like working on my slides late every night. And then it eventually turns into like, because it's due the Friday of the cruise. So first of all, I'm like, thank you, God, that there's internet on this cruise. So like, not only am I staying up late at night, but I'm, I'm like during everybody's speeches. I'm so sorry. I, I was listening, but not a hundred percent. I was like working on my slides. Anyway, so I shot some footage. It's like kind of hilarious of me behind the scenes. This is me dying. Do you guys want to see me like absolutely dying <laughs> between these slides? <laughs> it's so sad. Okay. We, uh, we're coming up here. So here's like a really funny one. Instagram. Here's what I'm going to do. Can I flip you around? I'm having like an old person on my hair. Oh, I sure can. Okay. So uh, I'm going to show you guys. Here is uh, this was a dark moment for me. This is day three of the cruise where I have stayed up and I've gotten less than four hours of sleep every night. Just finished dinner and back in the hotel. Going to be honest, I am dying a little bit. I think my all nighters and my only sleeping like four and a half ish hours a night for the last week it's really catching up to me and I'm so sad because all these people we just had the most like magical conversation at dinner like let's keep it going could, let's talk for a few more hours and I was like guys I have to advocate for myself I can't go and so here I am and I'm so tired and I just I need to finish this these slides but I am hurting I am in pain Okay, so those are, so that's that. So then the rest of this video is me trying to decide. I'm like, am I going to do my slides right now? Or am I going to take a 20 minute nap? Or am I going to wake up early? Like, that's what I was trying to decide. Okay. So then I finally make a decision. I'm like, you want to know what? I'm in a dark place. I'm not doing well. I'm going to go to bed. Okay, I'm going to go to bed and I'm going to wake up early. That's what I decide. Well, I don't know if this ever happens to you. It's a blessing and a curse. All of a sudden I go to get ready for bed. And next thing I know, I got a pep in my step again. Dang it. <laughs> I got a pep in my step. And, um, oh, my gosh, seriously, such an SOS. And so uh, this is this is what happens here. I wonder if this is the right one. We'll see. It's taking me a second. Okay, I lied. I... Okay, I lied. I went up to go get ready for bed and I caught a second wind, so I'm going to work on it for a little bit, my speech. Here we go. Okay, so then I caught this second wind, which was like terrible. And I mean, great, but terrible at the same time because I'm like, I'm going to die. This is just, oh my gosh. So then I stayed up like way too late. Anyway, then though, like one of the last days, so I'm already pulled an all-nighter, four hours of sleep, four hours of sleep, four and a half hours of sleep. And then that next night, Russell, like, so fun, but, like, such a little kid was like, let's stay up late and do, like, midnight marketing, which we were joking about. That's, like, such a little kid thing to do, you know? Like, let's put on our pajamas and stay up super late. <laughs> we were like, okay, cool, let's do it. And, like, if Russell's like, we're going to meet, then you just meet. Like, the, the dude, like, spews gold out of his mouth, so you're not going to miss it, right? So we stay up super late. We end up getting back to our room at four, and um, my my branding director, videographer Paul, everybody say hi to Paul. He's amazing. Um, he had gotten back to me with a draft of the video, and entirely my fault. It was just like not what I had envisioned, and it was my fault because I didn't tell him what I had envisioned. So he would like built this whole video, and I was like, that ain't it. So um, like so nice that I was like, Paul, I'm so sorry. Like this is not the vision. Like if you guys did, you guys see the video of Unlocking Live? Actually, I think we might post it on Friday if you guys want to see it. Anyway, um, anyway, so then we did that, and so I'm staying up with him late until like 5:45 in the morning. Um, just like because it's due on Friday. It's literally due the next day, right? So then we make this plan. I know I'm over nine minutes, but I'm gonna finish the story. It'll take like one more minute. 
So then well, I'm like up super late because we're like, there's no logistical time we can finish this. The slides are due the next day. Like the actual slides I thought I was done with. I wasn't. But I was like, this will be fine. We just need the videos. So then we're just like, we're just, I'm just going to turn them in and, uh, and just say, sorry. Like, well, technically she said first draft. I'm a rule follower, like big time. So it's like, it's just the first draft. I turned in the first draft, you know? But like, Melanie, you don't mess with Melanie. She's not scary at all, but you just respect that girl. Like, you respect her time. So anyway, so I was like, here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn in the first draft. Right when I get home, the night I get home, we're going to hash out our script all day Tuesday. We'll film. You have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday we'll, to edit, and we'll get it in on, on Wednesday or on Friday. So we're like, okay. Anyway, so I had stayed up that night till about 6 a.m. We had to wake up that next morning about 7.45 to 8 o'clock because we had to go, we would like booked this excursion to go on the ATVs. Now, I'm not calling these people weak, but Russell was supposed to be there. Steve Larson was supposed to be there. Melanie, you were supposed to be there. And they all slept in, okay? They were like, midnight master I was too much for me. Not for us, okay? Anyway, this is so funny. So then we wake up, and this is like, we, I've never felt or looked more wrecked in my entire life. You guys are going to die. Okay, this is the last thing I'm hopping off, okay? But you have to watch this. So this is the morning after, when I'm trying to finish these dang slides, okay? And, uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> what an SOS. Okay, I lied. I went up to go get ready for bed, and I caught a second wind, so. Okay, so it's the next morning, and we're feeling, how are you feeling? I, I'm physically rocked, but I'm trying to, I, I'm trying to convince my spirit that this was a good choice. Mm -hmm. Same. Rough. Not okay. <laughs> well, we gotta go on an ATV tour because that's what you do when you Hello. get to St. Martin. So, it's gonna be great. Anyway, I don't know what it is about those slides, but they literally, that, that's just funny. That's just funny. Anyway, so good news though, we got the first draft turned in and, uh, and, and I didn't get kicked out of the conference. So that's, that's the good news. Gasp at your face. I know. I was going through things. I was literally going through things. Anyway, so they were due on Friday. I literally turned them in Friday night, um, enjoyed the last two days of the cruise, got back on Monday, and we immediately, I like Monday night, I, I met with my videographer super late at night. He came over all day on Tuesday. We pounded it out, finished it out, and we got the next draft of the slides in. But that's a story for another time. That's going to end it all for 9 at 9. It was really 12 minutes and 48 seconds at 9, so I'm sorry. It's not you. It's me. But tomorrow, what's the story tomorrow? I don't know. I have it hashed out. I should have I had this up already. But tomorrow, we're going to keep going along in the journey because, um, oh, my gosh, like, ugh. Like, you think that our troubles are over. You think our troubles are over because we turned in our slides. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> They're only just beginning. Oh my gosh, it is so fun. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to continue the story of how we actually got to Funnel Hacking Live. In the meantime, you guys have seen at the bottom here, I don't know as much for my Instagram people, but my event, Design Hacking Live, is coming up March 27th, March 28th in Salt Lake City. It's going to be incredible. All day while we're talking about design hacking, how to present a story that converts from funnels, from video, from stage, etc. And then day number two, I'm going to show you how to actually automate those things. It's cool to have that skill set to make cool stuff. But if you can't keep it up on the back end, then it's like you have a blip of impact instead of a wide span. So that's what we're going to talk about. Lauren Golden is speaking. Stephanie Dove Blake is speaking. Cody Jefferson is speaking. Austin Dixon is speaking. Yours truly is speaking. It's going to be amazing. Get your tickets now at designhackinglive.com. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 9. Love you. Bye. Bye, Instagram. Am I sure I want to end my video? Yeah. Bye, Facebook. You know what's going to be good, Facebook? If I can figure out a cord, that's going to be my goal one day to see if I can coordinate and end these at the same time. In the meantime, we all know who my favorites are because I always start with you and I end with you. So, peace.